Hey Transformers fans, Adam here, back with another Transformers review. And if I've been waiting for this one, this might be the Mecha. A G1 reissued Megatron. Not from Hasbro though, but from Takara. The original toy company from Japan who made the Transformers before they even were the Transformers. And they were just a bunch of transforming robots with no interconnecting story with each other. We'll go ahead and get right into it with the close-ups. So, alright, nice close-up of the packaging here. So on the front, nice graphic of Megatron. You have a picture of him in his gun mode, a picture of him in his robot mode, and something you can do with his accessories and set up a little cannon for him when he's in his robot mode. Won't bother with that with this video, though, just because he never actually did that on the show. Inside, Megatron himself in his gun mode, some of his accessories, including his fusion cannon, and then some writing in Japanese that I cannot make out for the life of me. Again, this is a Takara reissue. Up top here, you have a demonstration of how to go about transforming him. On the sides, more, another picture of Megatron in his robot mode and his accessories. And same thing on the other side. And same thing on the bottom. Robot mode, gun mode, more Japanese writing. On the back here, usual graphic of the Transformers. And then more Japanese writing. If this is anything like the Hasbro editions, I'm guessing this is a mini bio for Megatron. And let's go ahead and open them up. Also included, by the way, were the stickers and the instructions, all in Japanese, so that really didn't do me a whole lot of good. Alright, taking off the plastic. And inside, Megatron himself in his gun mode, modeled after the Walther P-38. And yeah, this is pretty realistic looking, probably don't want to be walking around outside with this. If you do, make sure he's in his robot mode. And they even have little pellets here to act as bullets. You load them up top here. And they do actually fire. And yeah, you can kind of see why maybe they had to get away from this design. Not exactly cool to show it to kids these days. And also inside the fusion cannon slash his scope when he's in his gun mode. And the silencer here. And then this piece that I never understood as a kid. Later on, found out it was called a stock and it's kind of a shoulder rest for the gun. We'll get into that a little more in the video. And then a sword and a laser that I really won't bother with at all because, again, he never used these on the show. All right, we'll move those aside. And we'll go ahead and fully assemble him in his gun mode, starting with the scope slash fusion cannon. Just slide that up top here. Maybe. There we go. And then the silencer. Do this in two stages. So stage one and stage two. And then the stock here. Just slides up top. And there he is. And for a better demonstration, we'll go ahead and flip it back to the couch. So, and here he is on full display in gun mode. Again, this piece never really made much sense to me as a kid. Figured that out later on. Shoulder rest here. Use a scope. Click, click, click. Yeah, I see why they had to get away from this design. Not exactly cool to show this to kids these days. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into transforming him. So, all right, let's go ahead and transform him. Let's go ahead and take off the stock here. Move that aside. Take off the silencer. Move that aside. Next step, the handle here that becomes his legs, just go ahead and slide that down. The, the magazine here that becomes his feet, you go ahead and move that out. 
And then we can separate the legs. This one will move to a more permanent position for when he's in robot mode. This one, we're going to slide all the way over for just a second. See why in a minute. Next step, move down what becomes his head here. And then what becomes his arms. Go ahead and separate them. There we go. Move them up and we'll slide them back all the way. All right, next step. What becomes his chest here? Slide up the chest plate. And then we swing the bow around and down and around. And now we can slide this leg into a more permanent position. And then this whole back piece here, we just bring it up, click it into place. And finally, extend his arms and his fists. And there he is, G1 Megatron, this G1 Glory, ready to blast Optimus Prime. And as far as articulation goes, it's G1, yes, but there is some deceptively good articulation here. So you have some decent movement in the legs. You can mimic some walking here. And you do have some decent movement in the arms. Can't do anything with the elbows, though. They're kind of stuck in place. And then the head, yeah, kind of stuck in place also, because if you try to make them nod or move, you basically take up the whole back piece. But there he is, considered by some to be the Mecha, G1 Megatron. All right, let's go ahead and transform him back. So, first we bring back the headpiece here and the arms. Now we can go ahead and bring this leg back in and slide the barrel back up and around and move that back into place. Bring down the chest plate. And go ahead and bring the fist back in and the arms. Go ahead and reconnect those. Make sure everything clicks in nice and good. There we go. Move his head back up and the legs back in. And back up. And the feet back in. And back to the Walther P38. And you can even go ahead and attach the silencer and the stock. There we go. Make sure it stays together. And there we are. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. And there we have it. G1 Megatron and all of his G1 glory here. For some of us, this is the Mecha right up there with the original Optimus, just because a hero needs a villain. And for a lot of us, Optimus and Megatron, well, they were our original heroes and villains. I really love doing these robot reviews. I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do. More robot reviews to come, don't worry. I have Starscream, Ironhide, Ratchet, and others on the way. My next video will be another watch along, and then another robot review. Thanks again for joining me. Take care, Transformers fans.